Nothing says Memorial Day like baseball, and Misha made sure you would think high school baseball is a class one state playoff start tomorrow as La Plata hosts Sturgeon. These two teams meet for the second straight season, and due to weather issues from last season, they will be playing in La Plata again. The travel up Highway 63 didn't seem to bother Sturgeon last season as they beat La Plata 10 to nothing and went on to third place in the state. La Plata knows they have to focus in on defense and tight games. One thing is for sure, the Bulldogs will advance to the second round. The only thing that I'm thinking about moving forward is we have to be, you know, expecting a game like this from every day on. Uh, defense, defense, just got to work hard on both sides, offensively and defensively, and I think we can come out victorious. Coming from the other end of the spectrum to make the playoffs is Green City. The Gophers tripled their win total from last year, last week, as they did so this season to win the district title. The three wins by the Gophers gave them their first district title in 20 years. GC did so by breaking out the bats as they run-ruled West Nottaway in the title game. The quality of opponents steps up more than just a few notches as they host Cairo and fireballer Brad Roberts, who's already committed and signed to play baseball for Northwest Missouri State next season. Oh, Cairo's a pretty tough team. I saw him play at Land earlier this year in a real close game. I know that Roberts kid's a heck of a pitcher. We're going to be on our A game to beat them. Hope they make some mistakes and we play perfect and have a chance to be in the game. Green City, who only played 10 games this season, will host Cairo, who totaled 15 wins this spring. La Plata will also be hosting the sectional matchup for the second straight season. The Bulldogs enter with a stellar 12-2 record. As Sturgeon comes in to play with a mark of 12-8. Both games will start at 6 p.m. and we will have highlights of each game Monday night at 10. Lost in the track and field and baseball postseason was a title game run by the Kirksville Lady Tigers soccer team. This was the first district title game in program history, but likely not the last. You know, we, we had a great season uh, from beginning to end, and more wins in school history than, than ever before, and, and fewer losses. So, I mean, this has been a really positive season. That's something that we're going to move forward and make sure that we continue to do.